What's good, Seawall fam? I hope you're having a great day. I want to pick up in the book of Psalms where we let off the last time that we were together, and you may not remember it. If you do, that is amazing. If you don't, go rewatch it again because it's good to get the Word of God in your heart. You know, lots of times you'll hear Pastor Mark, Pastor Rhonda, Pastor Belinda, myself, other ministers, and it seems like we're ministering on the same thing over and over and over again. That is good. It used to annoy me, but then Brother Hagen showed me something. By hearing it over and over and over again, that's how it gets into my heart. So I encourage you, don't just watch these video once, but listen to them. Put it on repeat and just play it over and over and over again, especially if you're like me. God has to really help me because I need to read a scripture like four or five times before it actually gets into my heart. Just hearing it once is not enough. You cannot hear the Word of God too much. Hear it over and over and over again, and then don't just hear it, but accept it as truth. Understand that this Word is the truth, and the truth is never changing, and what's so cool about the truth is it's greater than facts, it's greater than emotions, it's greater than situations. The truth of God's Word is never changing and never failing, amen? So listen to it over and over again. I wanna read Psalms chapter one, verse two. It says this, but they delight, but they who delight in doing everything the Lord wants, day and night, they think about his law. Verse three, they are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit in each season without fail. Their leaves never, never wither, and they do prosper in all they do. I believe <laughs> no matter what's going on around you guys, no matter what's going on in the world as a whole, you are prospering. I believe you are being blessed. And the reason why is because you're giving special attention to God's word. The Bible says in Zechariah 4, 6, is not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. The reason why you're prospering in this time, the reason why you're able to see increase in this time, the reason why your joy can be full, the reason why you don't have to be depressed and you don't have to be bummed out is because you have something that is so much greater than all of those things. You have the spirit of God working on the inside of you. This is what the Bible talks about. When it said, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world, you can literally produce good fruit in every season because God's working on the inside of you. Cody said something when we were doing our Blaze Digital service. He said, the same power that raised Christ from the dead is the power that lives on the inside of you. And that is biblical. Think about that just for a minute. The power that raised Jesus from the dead right now in this very moment is living on the inside of you. Let him encourage you. Let him strengthen you. And when you do, and when you spend time with God's word and you spend time with his spirit, the Bible says you'll be like a tree that is planted by the riverbanks whose fruit produces in every season. And I think about that lots of times, you know, when your roots go down deep, when your roots are strong, then the winds of this world and, and the, the trials of this world cannot blow you over. It cannot ruin you because you are firmly rooted in God. The same power, amen? And so we have to be sure that not only are we hearing God's word, but we're obeying God's word. And this is what I wanna leave you with today. Don't just be a hearer, but be a doer. The book of James says that we are to be doers of the word, lest we deceive our own selves. When you hear about how God's blessed you, when you hear about how God's healed you, when you hear about how God's perfecting everything that concerns you, if you don't see those things manifesting in your life, it becomes frustrating to you. And the reason why we don't see those things manifest in our lives lots of times is because we're not doing what God says. In the book of Isaiah, it says, let us wait upon the Lord. Now, lots of times, and we've talked about this, it's not like we're just sitting in a room and waiting for God to move. No, we're to wait on him like a waiter waits on us at a restaurant. What does that mean? We go to him, we ask him what his order is, and when he gives us the order, that that's what we do, amen? That's waiting upon the Lord. Or you could say it this way, be a doer of God's word. When you're a doer of God's word, you'll see the promises of God working in your life every single time. Today, I'm believing God. We always are, as a pastoral staff, believing God for you. But today, right now, I wanna to minister to you. I am believing God for you, believing God with you. God's spirit is manifesting on you and in you right now to strengthen you, to give you everything that you need. I believe that the blessing of the Lord is working in your life, but you have to believe it too. And the way you preserve it and the way you see it is by being a doer of God's word. We love you guys so much. We hope this encouraged you. We cannot wait to see you next time. Until then, stay full of God, stay focused on God, and we'll see you next time.